Hello and welcome to part 5 in this series. If you just come across this one, I highly recommend go and watch the previous ones. If you have, welcome to part 5. So for this one, nice, short and sweet. We're only just going to be working on the side skirt in this one because after that, I'm going to go away for it. I'm going to go ahead and decide what to do with the rest of the car. Clean it up obviously because there's a couple little things here and there. It's just little touch-ups, nothing too serious. Just need to make sure that they're looking good and it's things that essentially were pretty much covered in previous videos like the fender and the hood there are obviously little things along here that i need to add loop cuts and bring these forward and curves out to the actual bumper but i probably should have also just bring this back a bit more of a rounder shape to it just things like that i just need to clean up But then more things I'll probably do in the spare time, and just to make it look a bit nicer. But anyway, today we're going to be working with the, uh, the side skirt, as I've already said. And my whole goal with this is I want the front to flow with the back. So we're going to take some inspiration from this. We're going to use this little flare out of this has and try and bring them together. But the front's going to be a bit more dulled out to fit with the actual front bumper. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring a plane in, we're going to rotate on the Y axis, so R, Y, 90 degrees. And we're going to bring this right in front of the side skirt, because we want to be able to see what we're doing, same as we've done with every other part of the front end. And so we scale down, bring it up, so we need to, okay, there's the door line. Bring it up. And we'll bring it across. So I grab so G and then Y, bring it across, and then we sit here and just start slowly moving around to how we want it. Now that Tesco does sit pretty low compared to the rest of the car. So we might actually bring this up. And that should give us a nice little or well, should give us the uh, line that we truly want. Baseline, obviously we'll flare it down a bit more at the bottom. We'll see how we'll, we'll see how it goes when we get there. So that's extrude up, so E, Z. Because this is the easiest part of the car to do. Well, not all the time, but it can be. And we're just going to throw a loop on there, so as before, control R, move it around. If you want to be dead centered, press escape, and it puts it exactly center and has it, and actually puts it in place, so you can't move it back going into like G, Z, G, X, or Dy. We don't want that. So now from here, I kind of like how the original one sits. It has that kind of drop down, allow the door to open up. Easily, so what we'll do is we're actually going to put in the lip cut. We're going to line it up right there where the uh, the drop happens. So we have the top of the drop and the bottom of the drop. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab these three. We don't want to grab this one because this one's in line with the door here. We're going to grab these three and we're going to extrude on the y axis. We'll go to the first door. There's a significant part where we should be uh, doing any changes to the back half. We'll extrude Y again. Double check. Okay, that's where the bottom of the door is. What we'll do is we'll just bring this down just a smidge and then grab it along here. There's that. And that one's pretty much there. So we're set. Just going to go into X ray and just check there. Okay, so we have our basis for our side skirt lifted to the front, which will tie into the actual uh, fender there. So we're going to have to actually add a loop cut and line it up. So that will be the, the flat face on there. I will have to go through and clean this up and get that all properly showing. But I'll do that in my spare time. 
So I'm just going to line this up because that's where we're going to want it. There. Oh, okay. I'm going to throw a loop cut in there to flatten out that bottom. This is where I just want to tweak and just get it right in that sweet spot, right where you want it. Obviously, I'm losing things. Well, this the punch we got forward just a bit. And this is the part I enjoy about mod making, is you sit there and just start working on something and yes, okay, hey, I kind of missed a part. I need to go and fix that. Okay, yep, I'll come back to this later before I get sidetracked and always remodel the entire fender. That's not what we're here for, we're here for the side scope. Okay, so now we have that. Let's actually just bring this all in to how we want it. So, this all in. So this process is going to be the same as every other part we've done so far. Just going to be lining it up, making sure it all goes together nice and neatly. So I kind of like having that width to it. Those are all aligned. There. That. Ooh, okay. So we're going to bring that out. Is that. Now let's just bring this in. Is that there? That there. Good work. There we go, the basis of the fender or the side cut. So, what we need to do now is add some flare to it. We bring this down to here and we're going to bring this in. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up. Bring this across. Bring this up. Bring this up. Hmm, okay. I think instead of having that little dip in there, I think we're just gonna make this flow out. So next what we're gonna do is we're just going to protrude on the z-axis. I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. 
still to this day, I'd still sit there and try to figure out what happened. Like, how half the things I do happen. Hotkeys randomly. I accidentally just press a hotkey and start something new that I've never seen before. Okay. Bring this down. Oh, I saw the team, just couldn't see it. Bring that down. Right, that, there we go. Bring this in, bring both in. Let me go back here, this will now raise this. So I'm going to figure out isolate. Screw that. There we go. Let me do this. Yeah, that kind of works. Obviously, we got a couple more loop cuts to throw in. I think this will work. And we just need to tidy it up and get it all lined up properly. That nice perfect curve. Bada bing, bada boom. There. And then that there. Is there another one? Just because we want to make sure we get all oh, that lined up nicely. Because we're not a hundred percent following the original set scope, we can obviously tweak bits and pieces here and there. Okay, looking good. Now I remember I didn't show this on the bumper, but it's the same process as the fender, the hood, it's like the outside, and just well, make sure you have every vertex on the outside selected. It's extrude. So I'm going to shoot a bit further than I need to the top part, the top part, and then just grab these, so I bring them in, and then just select what I need to do, and just select what I need to select, and bring them in, sometimes go one by one just to make sure you get the distance you want all. Okay, there's the basis of it. Now we're just going to do simple things like we need to add a bevel, subdivision surface, and we're going to do a mirror. Remember, subdivision surface, set it to keep corners. And on the mirror, I'm going to select the front bumper. Now, if we smooth it, we get the basis for our the actual official somewhat smooth version of what we're going to use. So, the cavity. 
Okay, yeah, we're getting there. Now, what we need to do is add in loop cuts where we need. Or should I try this? That works. Uh, bring that up. Okay, I actually kind of like how that came out. Be a few bits. A few things here for this we should pop up just a little bit more than they actually are. And where is the bit too? Okay, I think that is it. Yeah, that's the side skirt definitely done. Sweet, so there we have it, side skirt done. Bit of a shorter video compared to the last time, but that was the whole goal was to get the sh uh, side skirts done. Um, so yeah, we'll get to the start. I'll go through. I'll tidy up some just like very tiny things that I want to spend an episode doing um once they're done i think i'm happy with it i think we might actually move over to 3ds where the rest of it will continue down to uh air mapping uh preparing the headlights unless i decide to remake them but i've already made everything around those ones so i don't really see the point in more effort for saying that i don't need to do can delete all that because we don't have 350 headlights anymore. Yeah, so then there is it. What's that above it? High beam dummy. Huh. Yeah, I'll figure that all out. But uh, yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope this one has helped. I hope all the other ones have helped. And thank you to everyone who has actually complimented and showed off some of the work that they've done for the videos. Um, I do have a Discord server as well I want to add to on, um, on top of that. Uh, I'll be doing obviously showing off uh, mods I'm working on, packs that I'm going to be releasing, a uh, few drop bits on this car. Hopefully, I should start doing soon. And um, you can. Come hang out, I play 5M, I do a Seto, Cod and all that as well. 
I might start actually live streaming that at some point. But um, yeah, um, to part six, I hope this has helped and I look forward to seeing the creations that you have created. See ya.